At the pinnacle of her career as a writer, producer, director, star, and animal wrangler of wilderness adventure films, Nell Shipman relocated her production company, studio, and zoo of wild animal co-stars to Priest Lake, Idaho. All of her successful films were shot primarily on location in spectacular natural surroundings, and she portrayed women who lived in close alliance with the animals around them. Nell was involved in every aspect of filmmaking and consciously separated herself from the big studios, both in terms of the content of her films and their production methods. Given the consolidation of film production and distribution channels that occurred at the time, the further Shipman moved from Hollywood, the less successful her films became. Born Helen Barham in 1892 in Canada, the young Nell joined a touring vaudeville company, met and married Ernest Shipman, and in 1912 the two moved to Southern California. Shipman wrote and acted in various short films for Vitagraph, Selig, and Universal, and in 1915 was chosen as the lead in Vitagraph's $90,000 production of God's Country and the Woman. The film did extremely well, and Shipman followed it up with a critical and financial success back to God's Country in 1919. The next year she divorced Ernest and made the car chase picture something new with her lover, former race car driver Bert Van Tyle, who was co-director of the film and a partner in Nell Shipman Productions.